have already shuffled. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the present. And we'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this King of Swords and it's with the Six of Wands. Now the King of Swords, it can stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man or person in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, particularly if this card does not represent a person in your life. So you might have to consider the feelings of others before you act. Yeah, this King of Swords, it points to a very forceful type of energy, so you may not be able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So, you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. Now, it's with the Six of Wands, which signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This could also mean some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, the Six of Wands, it's a very interesting card in the deck. It reminds me of the Twin Flame, the energy that they share. Because this card, it can suggest, it can suggest that you need, that you might need someone to boost your ego. While the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. Yeah, with the six of wands, you can expect a lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. Yeah, actually the picture of the six of wands, it kind of says it all. You see how... The six, well, the Six of Wands is a card below the word pass. You see how she's standing on the podium? And she's waving her wand in the air. And then she's got all these people below her. They're mimicking her. They're mirroring each other. They're doing exactly what she is. They're waving their wand in the air just like she is. So it's about recognition, victory, success. Yeah, so Aries, what I'm getting for that for the recent past energy for you and your person, King of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands. Yeah, this is interesting. Now for some of you you're dealing you're dealing with a person who might be the type that's really laid back. Maybe they don't like to argue or fight or fuss. Just a really calm type of energy. Um, they don't like to debate. They're kind of laid back. Some of you are dealing with a person like that. But like I said, this King of Swords is a forceful energy. Very strong, forceful, opinionated this person will overstep their bounds. This person, yeah, they will mistreat you, this King of Swords. So, it seems like for something happened in this connection, whereas your person 
all of a sudden they became like this. They started to use their head over their heart. And they became very forceful with you. Very forceful. You could have felt like they were mistreating you. But they were different than how they, than what you were used to. Something caused them to maybe step out of their, their character. Come out of their character. Something happened. They came out of their character with you. And it's interesting because what happened is that, wow, it caused them to get a lot of recognition from you. They had more victory and success with you. The chemistry became better. Yeah, the connection became stronger. And you started to give this person more attention. Also, the, um, the romance, the sexual energy, it took off to new heights. Yeah. So maybe you prefer this type of energy. Some of you prefer this forceful type of energy. Yeah. Some of you like this type of energy. It got a rise out of you. <laughs> so, whatever happened, it worked in favor of your person. Because, like I said, you started to see them in a different light. Yeah, maybe you didn't like this passive type of energy that they um, brought to the connection. So, something happened. Something caused them to flip. They became forceful. Maybe aggressive. They weren't soft anymore. Something happened. But it turned things around. So now they have victory and success with you. You recognize this person in a real big way. Yeah. So, I don't know what happened, but something happened. And now things are... Things are really, really interesting. So that's the recent past energy. Now, let's take a look and see what's coming up. So we got the Seven of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, you're likely to find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they'll be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt, though. Some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. So don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. Because your thinking is clear and you could help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it does point to being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Which says that you've got a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kind. Your finance. Your health. All these things are going well. But you might have to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know we get back what we give out. Yeah, whatever you put out to people, whatever you put out to the universe, it comes back to you. And if we're talking about karma, some people say it comes back to you three times. Some people say ten times is big. So, yeah, things are looking good with this Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It's a very happy indicator overall. If you're in a relationship, it could move to the next level. Engagement, commitment, marriage, childbirth. Beautiful. So, what I'm getting is that coming up, we got this, like I said, the Seven of Wands clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So, like I said, your, poor, your person switched on you. They flipped or something made them snap. 
I don't know, and it looks like you might have enjoyed it. And now the relationship is just, it's on a different level. Maybe you start to do whatever they say now. Because you, you two are mirroring each other. You got some serious chemistry going on. So now you want to come out on top. You want to be the last man standing. Yeah, this, this type of energy sparked your, your interest. So now you want to be the last man standing. Or last woman standing in this connection. You want to make sure you win. Yeah, everything's going good. Really good with this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the relationship feels like it could go to the next level. Marriage, commitment, childbirth. Yeah, so, wow. They flipped the switch, and now everything is really taking off. That's what it's showing. That's what it's showing that's coming up. So, let's see what the challenge is going to be. So we got this Seven of Swords for the challenge, and it's with the Hangman. Now the Seven of Swords, with this card, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel that someone is spying on you or stalking you, then you could be right. And if you feel like you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to resist the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. Now it's with the hangman. Now the hangman, it does show that um, you're at a crossroads. Could be a type with only two options, in or out. Up or down, yes or no, you could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if this happens, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, things. It could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own interests by being willing to change. So basically, Aries, the challenge, Seven of Swords, clarified by the hangman. Yeah, so this is interesting. I'm getting that something is found out. And it's found out by, not by mistake, but it's find, found out by uh, someone put their nose in a place where it didn't belong. Maybe your person, they started to check your phone or watch, watch you from afar. And they found out certain things. Now this could have been you. Could, this could be you or your person doing this. Yeah, so some, something was found out. Yeah, you could have been stalking your person or spying in on your person or they were doing this to you. And and what what it caused is confusion. Yeah, so you're confused or your person is confused now. Not that your person is not sure what to think, what to make out of what they found out. Or this could be you. Yeah, so now they're thinking in or out, up or down, should I stay, should I go, is it a yes or is it a no? Something was found out, and it's causing 
somebody to be stuck in their head, really confused. Yeah, yep. Somebody's really confused now. So that's what we got for the challenge. Now let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got this Eight of Pentacles and it's with Temperance. The Eight of Pentacles, it's showing necessary efforts. You have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is going to be important. So you want to make sure you don't let it work for its own sake because that can be counterproductive. Be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. This Eight of Pentacles, it's indicating a very hard work period. Now, this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Now, I hope you can see the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know if you can see the details of it, but it's the card above the word outcome. It looks like this man has been working all day and he's still working and it's going into nighttime. And he has no intentions of stopping. Yeah, even though it's raining and the raindrops are huge. So it's a it's a heavy work period. It's a lot of work there. Um this person could have a lot of passion for what he's doing, motivation could be inspired. This person could be mastering their craft or maybe they just enjoy their employment. But like I said, it's a heavy work period. Yeah, it's with the temperance card though. The temperance card is, is about balance. Finding balance in yourself and your relationships with your goals and aspirations. It's about peace of mind. Could be about reconciliation. Could be about taking a look at anything you feel guilty about. Any mistakes you feel you've made. And forgive yourself. Let it go. Because it's the only way you can truly make progress. Yeah, so you want to... It's about taking a look at any deep personal issues that you might have and see if they're standing in your way. So basically, Aries, the outcome, Eight of Pentacles, clarified by Temperance. So yeah, like I said, your person found out something about what you were doing, found out something about you, and now they're just stuck in their head. They're confused. They don't know what to do. Should they stay? Should they go? In or out? Up or down? Yes or no? Yep. Somebody put their nose in a place where it didn't belong or something just fell. Maybe something fell out of the bag, but I don't think so. Because the Seven of Swords is about Behaving with less than ethical intentions. So this is about stalking, spying, prying. So that's what happened. And something was found out. So now the relationship for the outcome, it's at a place where it's going to take a lot of work. A lot of work to get it back to this Six of Wands. Yeah, that was an exciting, great place to be. Like I said, that's recognition, success, great chemistry, great sexual energy. So now, it's going to take a lot of work to get it back to where it was. So you and your person, trying to figure out how to bring balance back into the connection. Yeah, trying to figure out how to get back to having a peace of mind with each other. Yeah, so that's what happened. Or that's what's coming up. Put it that way, because that's the outcome. So there's some work that's going to be needed. Yeah, so that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. 
As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for my old subscribers. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel when you subscribe. So thank you so very much. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We're all going to get through this. So stay strong and healthy. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah, because some of my subscribers, they ask, well, how could this reading be? I, I haven't dated in years. Some of you say decades. So how could this be? Well, you have to keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So you have to take the reading for however it resonates. Yes, this could be, if it's not a love interest, yes, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, or it could be some type of situation. Take it for however it resonates. So Aries, once again, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day. Take care.